is the Star Wars Revenge of the Sith, the Vintage Collection, General Grievous. This figure is so freaking impossible to stand. And that's going to affect this review for the... This is going to affect my, my, my rating of this figure. I've been spending like two hours about an hour just trying to stand this guy up he will not stand I mean he'll stand like that for like two seconds and after like I mean he's, he's just gonna topple over anyway here is the packaging he's from the Revenge of the Sith I think wave three of the vintage collection figures way back in 20 2010 I think some poses shown may require additional support all poses will require additional support. This is the Revenge of the Sith figure. Uh, I'm not sure if I have it. I don't think I have I think I have the Legends version of that one, so that's that. So a figure is just so flimsy. Um, you know, a lot of fans are saying this is the definitive General Grievous. Yes, it may be the definitive one. I might have to agree with that, but it certainly is not the most fun General Grievous. I, I, I think it looks great as a display piece. It looks great on the card, but beyond that, this is a horrible, horrible play piece. You can't even play with it. You can't even do too much about it. It'll stand up for a while, but because of the flimsy legs, over a certain period of time, this thing is just going to topple over. And, well, look at that. Now he's... He's pretty stable now. I swear, you know, he, he was like toppling over in any pose I put him in. Oh, well, yeah. He, he just, because of the flimsiness of the material, the rubber, especially temperatures now in Manila, they're like 93 degrees. Horrible, horrible heat wave we're going, we're going through now. May 15th, 2014. Look at my perspiration. Even my hands are like sweaty just doing this review and you know admittedly the figure has a lot of good points I mean, the first thing you will notice is well he's got a ton of accessories he's got two ignited lightsabers lightsabers I think this one is Kit Fisto I think this one is like uh, I don't know Ki Adimundi I don't know but just generic blue and green lightsabers then on his cape he's got a removable cape so we'll take it out so you can you can appreciate the figure so let me see if we can stand him up it, it's mainly due the the lack because they've given him a marvel universe knee and not a star wars knee that's why it's so difficult to pose him um normally i wouldn't complain about that but for a figure like general grievous he needs more stability than this jet than ball double jointed knees if you're gonna put double jointed knees you gotta put a thigh swivel there has to be some laterals lateral articulation for the legs and he just doesn't have it and it's been very annoying so his cape sort of like a trench coat like inspector gadgets trench coat regular trench coat you, he has pockets we can put we can put some unlit lightsaber hills which he steals from the jedis he kill he even fit a his blaster right there very nice very accurate blaster but i don't like the fact that his cape is like a trench coat that his cape does not have pockets for crying out loud if you watch the movie he the 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 lightsabers they clip on to his sides like like this one like how a jedi clips it on he has like like magnets right here that allow you to clip he does not have pockets in his cape come on but the cape is really really nice it's thick it's got the grievous logo at the back his, his trademark design it looks like count dracula's cape onto the figure itself it's a wonderful sculpt the main feature of this one is that his arms do separate into into two so you have his you, you can have him posed with four arms with the split up arms and each of the split up arms have their own articulation there's a central ball hinge joint for both arms you've got a bicep swivel for each of the arms uh, you've got a uh, forearm swivel for each of the arms yet again uh, and a wrist swivel for both arm for both hands and you've got those pegs and holes you can plug the arms together nice and snug so that's that's a great plus for this figure. That's why I, a lot of fans are really, really 
raving about this figure. He's got an upper torso ball joint. He's got a ball jointed neck. It's, there's no hinge. There's some removable pieces right here that are not glued on. They're just snapped on. I and mean, if you, you give this to a kid, I'm sure a lot of times these things are going to fall off and you're, you're going to lose them. I'm glad these things are glued on. It's got a hinge, just a swivel waist, hips, swivel, swivel hips, double jointed knees. That's great, but there's no weight, there's no thigh swivel or a ball hinge here. And then he's just got a ball hinge ankle. And these things, because of safety issues, they're made of soft rubbery plastic. And it's been very, very, extremely difficult to have this guy posed um, standing up. I mean, there, there's very, very few poses you can get him into without support. And the, the sad fact is there are no peg holes. So you can't use a base on this figure. So... I'm going to have to say, you know, it's a it's a great looking figure, but it's certainly not enjoyable enough for me uh, as an action figure. And if you split up his hands, he can you barely hold on to any of the lightsabers. Um, like I said, more flimsiness on the part of this figure. Maybe he can, but uh, I don't know. Sure, he can hold his blaster with this one. But certainly not an enjoyable toy. It's, it's great, it's a great piece to have. Um, but but I, I'm, I'm just, it, because it's so flimsy, I don't think I'd give this to my kid or to to a nephew or to anybody who's really interested to getting Grievous as a toy. This is really just for adults. And this is what the line is really for, for adult collectors. And uh, like I said, <laughs> this figure just gets, you know, because it's a good dis display piece, I'm still going to give it a 7 out of 10. But that's as high as it goes. It, it's not a figure worth tracking down. I mean, there are a lot of other General Grievouses out there. If you want just a General Grievous on your shelf, this is really for the hardcore Star Wars collector. If you really want a very definitive Grievous, fine. I'm going to suggest you don't open it. Just leave it in the packaging. It looks great there as it is. You open it up and just things just fall apart. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I'm hurting a lot of feelings for all you fans of this figure. But it's just... It's just really annoying uh, for the most part for me. And uh, I'm guessing maybe I should have just kept it in the packaging and gave it to somebody else. Because I already have one in mint. This one. Unpunched. I think. Or a little bit punched. I don't know. The crappy packaging. That's the reason I bought this. It was on clearance because of the crappy packaging. So I decided to do a review. I haven't done a review of it. Anyway, very, very belated. May the 4th be with you. Uh, sorry, I wanted to do this review on the 4th of May, May the 4th, but uh, due to having a little bit of a hectic schedule nowadays, I wasn't able to. So there you go, folks. <laughs> I rest my case. Star Wars, The Revenge of the Sith, the Vintage Collection, General Grievous. Thanks for watching.